It feels amazing to be the captain of a winning team, especially for the Federal Reserve Challenge. It's an amazing experience. When we walked into the Board of Governors room, the experience is so intense that it kind of numbs you out. As we walk in, Ben Bernanke makes his entrance through the door and he goes, How do you like my conference room, huh? <laughs> to meet someone like that and see someone like that standing right in front of you and then sitting in his chair at, at the Board of Governors, um, it's a little gut-wrenching. It's a great achievement to have reached this point. You all deserve congratulations. When I first joined the Fed team, I was told that we were going to be competing against NYU, Cornell, Columbia, Princeton, all the top schools. And I'm like, you know, why, why, why even do it? The Federal Reserve Challenge has the biggest learning curve that you will ever experience. You read papers, you read the Wall Street Journal, you read any academic research that comes out. When you spend that much time with somebody, they know your food order, they know, you know, where you like to eat from, they know what time you're going to be there, your schedule. We were literally waking up, like reading the paper on the train, going to work, going to class, reading some more, going to another class. Pace students are very ambitious. They realize that hard work is a key to achieving high goals. The whole economics department, they are literally available 24-7 to coach us, mentor us. If we have any question whatsoever, I know I can pick up my phone at 2 in the morning and call Weinstock if I have a question. That's the kind of thing that no other school has. We take it for granted that the team is going to be among the top undergraduates in the United States. So when you're ready, just give me the sign and I will start the 15 minute clock. Okay. Good morning and welcome to our panel on unconventional monetary policy after the Great Recession. Since the start of the recovery, growth has been anemic. What do you believe are the major headwinds preventing a robust recovery? Well, Sonia. So it's pretty overwhelming. But I don't think we were nervous. I should continue to evaluate. We had worked together so much and we knew that we can depend on each other. So literally you look at your teammates and you know that it's going to be all right. I mean, even if you say something incorrectly, someone's going to step in and they're going to correct your mistake and that's just an amazing feeling. Could you talk a little bit about how you think the fiscal... There's one thing that, you know, we're really strong on is the Q&A part. You know, we want to push the judges to ask us a certain type of question that we know we can answer perfectly. And it uses the S&P 500. My designated role on the Fed team was given to me by Professor Weinstock after uh, going through Q&A with us for a while. If we saw, say, they... We I'm the guy who should sit back and, and not answer the questions right away, just listen to everybody think and, and speak and, and then bring them back. If we're not seeing any good Fed team before they actually start the first round is slightly beyond my control. They're rebellious, they're iconoclastic, they have their own ideas, they believe they know more than me, and in some areas they may, and that's what way we want them to be. Program due to the it was awesome to be able to, to show that to the other teams that we've prepared for this so hard and so well that now when it comes time to do the competition, you know, this is our comfort zone. This is where we have fun. And I think that's what sets pace apart is that we know when to study and we know when to have fun. And that balance of, you know, enjoying your time with the Fed team and studying as much as you can and working on it, I think is what makes us great. Thank you, Team Four. Thank you very much. I think the best experience ever was to have the winning team in the Nationals step out of the competition and stand outside with us for a second. And the team members from Northwestern telling us they thought we won. The, the winner thinks that they lost to you. I mean, that's, that's worth everything.